Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from InFixItOnline.com For all you YouTube visitors, don't forget to check out the website, InFixItOnline uh, You can also request a tutorial, uh, a software that you want to learn or to perform certain tasks on your system Okay, now when you get on the website, you just look to the left and you click on the tutorial request link Alright, now in this current tutorial here we're going to show you how to get rid of Windows XP startup errors. All right, now for the most part, this is caused by software that wasn't uninstalled properly and it's still lingering around somewhere in your Windows registry and it's looking for it on startup or maybe a device driver that was installed and that driver or that drive or device is not on your system. So the registry is also looking for it. Alright, now there's two ways to go about this. Now the best thing you do, once you see one of these errors and you want to get rid of it, is you Google whatever name comes up. In this case here it says, cannot load the DLL CNXT 5DK.DLL. Alright, now I'm going to do a Google search on that. Not on this particular system, but on another system. Now when I search that on Google, it's telling me that it's a modem driver. Okay. Now what must have happened is my client tried to install a wrong driver on their system. And this is why it's coming up with this error. Okay, now the two ways you get rid of this, once you realize what it is, the first thing to do is you go in add remove programs and you try to uninstall the device. Now I'm gonna go into the add remove program folder now. Okay, now to get to the app remove programs, you select on start, control panel, and then app remove programs. Okay, and that brings up the app remove program link. Alright, now this driver here, the PC tell modem driver, is the correct modem for the system. But when I searched that DLL, I noticed that it was a modem driver. And I know it's that it's this modem here, Dell modem on hold. And also the digital line detect. Alright? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of those files, but before I do that, I'm gonna just press OK on this error message. Because it won't stop your system from running. It's just an annoyance every time you start your system up. And then you see it has a concurrent error. It says the application failed to in initialize properly. It gives you some memory code and it says click OK to terminate the application. Okay, like I said, this won't stop your system from running. I still can run my system without a problem, but it's just a um it's a nuisance seeing that every time you start up. Alright? So now we're in the add remove program box. We're gonna select on remove. and it asks me if I want to completely remove and of course okay now before you do this make sure you uninstall in the right software or driver because you can have a problem now the second option um, let's say you went to add remove programs and you didn't see nothing following that file on there the second thing you would want to do is go into the Windows registry and delete it like that because the application could have been uninstalled but for some reason the installation the uninstallation process didn't go correctly and it still left some files lingering around on your system that's why you will get that error so what I'll do after I do this I'll restart the system and what I'll do is I'll go into the Windows registry just to show you um, you know so you can fill it out just in case that's what you have to do but I doubt I have to do this on this process but then again you never know I'm troubleshooting actually live here Okay. Alright, so now that we got rid of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the system. And let's see if it took care of that error message. Okay, the system has restarted. And you notice you don't see the error no more. So that's all we had to do in this case to get rid of the error message on startup. Okay. Just to make sure I restarted a second time. It's a man started for the second time. And of course, you have no error message. 
now what I'll do is I'm going to show you um, let's say you went to add remove programs and you didn't see no trace of this error or the software that you're looking your next step will be to go inside the Windows registry editor and then delete anything asking for that file okay now to get to the Windows registry editor what you'll do is you'll click on the start button then you'll select run and inside the run box now once the Windows registry editor open up you want to search for that file but one thing I'm going to tell you to do and this goes for anybody especially if you're not really sure the Windows registry plays a big part of Windows operating correctly or operating at all right so before you make any changes to your registry you want to make a backup copy of it and to make a copy of your registry select on file and then export and then you can uh, save it in your my documents folder and you just type in reg back and you select on save okay this is very important because God forbid you delete the wrong file in your Windows registry and you will have more problems than you started than you started up with okay now just to check it you see the file here reg back so I know I made a successfully made a copy of it alright so now we're gonna look for that file or that DLL that was showing the error so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select edit in the um, menu the file menu you're gonna select edit and then find and then in the find box you will type in the name of that file okay so you type the name of the file in and it's telling me that um, there's no reference inside the registry and I select on OK now when I search for that file I included DLL so this time I'm just gonna take out the DLL just in case now I don't expect to find anything because the uninstallation completed successfully but just in case you didn't go through that process these are things you try and then again the second time Windows can't find it so we seem to be pretty much free of that error alright so that concludes this uh, tutorial once again thank you for viewing this tutorial how to get rid of Windows startup errors uh, don't forget if you like the video comment you're welcome uh, we respect all opinions and comments um, also subscribe that's what keeps us going here um, thanks for viewing another tutorial from infixonline.com hope to see you on the next one peace